Hey everybody, this is QHA1, and welcome back to Let's Play Trine, Part 11! Yeah! We're getting close to the end of the game, actually, to be completely honest. Continue. New game. Choose level. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the next level of the game, which is... Finally, the darkness subsided, and our heroes were relieved to find themselves in the light again. The thief quietly surveyed her new surroundings. She had never been here before, but for reasons beyond explanation, she felt a sense of belonging. The ruins of the perished, as the old king had called them, looked exactly as described in the journal. Beautiful and majestic, despite the centuries gone by. The third artifact could perhaps be found at the highest location of the ruins. These are ancient ruins. I don't think anyone's been here for a while. Except those nasty bones! <laughs> Who would abandon something like this? It's beautiful. These aren't just ruins. These are abandoned ruins of the perished. Ah, yeah, another stunning example of why this game is so gorgeous, and if I can record this in the proper resolution that I play this game in normally, 1440 by 900, oh, this game would be even more gorgeous. And look how long this level is, 35, we're actually probably going to be here for a while, I think anyways. The only thing I wish you could have more than, um, one fire arrow, but then again, that'd probably make it too easy. I don't know. So, how are you all today? I don't have really any schedule of what I'm going to say today. I'm just talking out of my butt. Just saying random things. Now, I do remember this level will take me a while. For some reason, like, I don't necessarily think like the level is hard. I just think it took me a while. Now. Come on, give me up there. I keep going as a video game character, even though I'm trying to do the actions myself. I don't know. For some reason, yelling at the screen like, Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, makes a lot of sense to you. I guess. Never understood that myself, but I always follow it. Now reality you would think would not make any more of a personal sense, but you know, whatever. Ah, we're getting closer to being almost fully powered. Of course, we're not going to be fully powered because I don't have all the experience so far. We're probably missing about 10, I believe. At least 10, or at least 11. Or miss 5 in one level, 5 in another level, at least 1 or 2. So I'm going to say about 13 experience, which for this, it's not that bad. Really, it's not too bad. You'll probably eventually find it, and things will be better off in the end. That was the most underwhelming thing I ever seen. That's it. it didn't even make a crash. It just it, it sounded like you hit foam blocks. It was that underwhelming. It sounded like you hit foam blocks. Suicide um, skeletons. Who would have thunk it? Uh, dum dum. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but that's like stepdad. He, he thinks he has to make a goddamn spectacle out of the whole deal. Really goddamn annoying. No, no. Oh. <sighs> Phew, for a second there I thought I lost that for good. <laughs> Anyways, I'll tell you a little bit about my day so far. I've just been doing some um, random things, been doing RP related stuff, which is pretty much my main focus for the past year is that. I mean, I love roleplaying. I've always loved role playing since 
probably about 2007. And it's just something that always keeps me entertained. And it's like beating a character. It's easier than writing a story. Like a huge story, which I have tried to write stories or fanfics, if you want to call them, in the past. Just never really that successful. Regardless. Let's get through here, which I don't think we can get through that yet. I think we have to go up here. Regardless, because we need to destroy this. Look at these goddamn spiders! Ah, oh, these spiders, they can go die in a humongous flame. They really can die in a flame, for all I care. I hate them. You can you see why already. I just I can't express how much I hate the spiders and I hate the bats. <sighs> For some reason, it always thinks there's something up there. It always looks like it, but there's not really. It just looks like it. You know that. It reminds me of those games where you're like stuck in a dark area and because the developers really didn't want to um, show off the whole area there and it adds the effect of oh you're trapped, you just see a burst of light in that area and it just looks very awkward but at the same time it actually works in conveying that fear of oh you're trapped, you can't even look outside because you're that trapped. I think there's something up there. I swear, it looks like it. Okay, there's nothing up there. I'm gonna say there's nothing up there. And if there's something up there, then I have no idea if I even get through it. It's officially one of those great mysteries of life. Is there something up beyond that wall? We'll find out never. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this section. I really hope there's a checkpoint soon. I don't care. I don't care. Run! Just get to the end. Just get to the checkpoint. That's all that matters, just get to the checkpoint, which we did. Hey. We did, that's it. Hey. Which is good, which is good. Oh. That could have gone a lot worse than it actually did. That seems to be a um, phrase that I keep saying in this game a lot. That could have been a lot worse than it actually did. Oh, and they actually do give experience. I don't remember them giving experience. Oh wait, yeah, they did before. I don't know what I'm saying. They have given experience in the past. Experience! Experience the rainbow. Touch the rainbow. a slight bit awkward.
Let's see. There we go. See, I know what I'm doing. Typically, I know what I'm doing. Sometimes not. Sometimes I never know what I'm doing. Until it's all over. I hate when these get out of place. It makes, them, it, makes it pretty dang awkward to actually get through. Sorry about taking too long on this, it's just really, really frustrating right now, and I don't know what to say. Okay, there we go. Even if we don't make it, we can at least... Whew! That took a little bit longer than it should have, and it probably would have been way, way, way too quiet. Maybe that was a good thing. There has to be something under here, isn't there? Or is there? Uh, looks like it, but to be sure, let's go over here. No, just a, another way of going through here, I guess. Well, there's, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't um, go down far enough to where you can go under the water. Not like. Water sections are really that much of a concern in this game. It really isn't. Well then. Thank you for this incredibly simple water puzzle. Have a good day. Love, QHA1 to Frozen Bite developers. I am making a very weird tone of voice, and I don't know where it's coming from. And you, skeleton. Ha <laughs> ha. I just, I love beating the ever less living crap out of these enemies. Is that a bad thing? Is it? Because if it's so, then I'll admit. I am an addict. I am addicted to killing enemies. I have been ever since I was 12. Timing on these things. We're gonna have to deal with that. Oh, well, I was tr trying to get. To a checkpoint, which we missed this one. For some reason. Why did I miss it again? <laughs> What's well, a good thing we died, anyways? Because I would have missed an experience and be like, "What the hell? I went, th I went through everything." <sighs> Get up there. You suck. You all suck. See? At least he was able to get up there.
Okay. Be careful. <sighs> Damn it. Ow. Ugh. This level isn't hard. So why am I doing so horribly at it? All of a sudden. It's like. Hey, you want to do a good at a game? Well, fuck you! You're not doing good in this game. That's pretty much what the game is saying at this point. I mean, if you, if you can't read it in its eyes and its mouth and how it demonstrates everything by pushing you into spike walls, something is magically wrong with you. You're not magically delicious! Get up there, get up there, get up. Never mind. Never mind. Maybe I shouldn't get the experience. You're gonna cause me this much trouble. Why should I even bother? I mean, what's the incentive to give me? Getting 100%? Huh. <laughs> I care about 100%. A pure shake one. I do very say except the 100%. Don't you know? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you know? This level is gonna be a very weird one. <sighs> I can already tell. Not a lot of people are gonna watch it. We're gonna be sitting there for an hour. I'm gonna, it's gonna sit there for six hours with zero views. Somebody wants to watch this. Apparently. Come on. Uh, why does this have to be so awkward? Why does this have to be so awkward? Why does this have to be so awkward? Why can't I do this? That took forever and a half. Because it did. When it shouldn't have. I'm on the rampage now! With only like halfway through the level. That's not good. I don't know how long it's been, but. Damn, this level is gonna be a long one. Maybe it's gonna be in the 30 minute mark. In that case, I'm gonna have to hurry up because I don't want it to take that long. Like. Like, that's getting to the threshold where I would cut this. But, if it does, we will see how it goes. You know what? It just depends on how things go. And like I said, I'll just watch this and post commentary or post editing. Post editing, that doesn't even make sense either. Sorry, puppy. Damn it. Sorry, puppy. Why? It's just I'm trying to concentrate on the game so I can get through it in a timely manner, but it's just being a ginormous pain in the butt to be able to do. Yeah, 
Don't you even dare. Don't you even think about it. I will tear you a new behind if you try to push me down from there. You got warned after the fact. Which means, does the warning really matter? Not really. Still, are... Are the enemies aquaphobic? Like, aqua... Yeah, they appear to be aquaphobic for some reason. That's just what it looks like. Because they die every time they go in there, so you logically assume, okay. You must, must hate water. Which I don't understand why. Maybe it's just because you can't really fight underwater, so it wouldn't be fair. That's probably the reason why. Probably the reason why. But still. It's kind of pathetic, don't you think? Ah, I love this thrill of a good kill. Makes me so giddy inside, like you already know. Okay, we have 24 out of 35. Either we're doing really good or we're doing pretty bad. But, since I'm being quiet, you know, this gives you a chance to listen to this awesome music. I mean, listen to it. Oh man, I love listening to this music. Before I thought this level, like the game in general, is more like, um, just atmospheric music and not really music, but listening to it now, I can remember some of it, just not much. I mean, yeah, it's good music, and I still think it's memorable. It's not really memorable, but it's a good soundtrack to listen to whenever you're just wanting something to complement your writing style, and you just want to want something that can make you think and go, ah listen to this. I can imagine someone going through a forest in the middle of the jungle and doing stuff with stuff to create stuff. You know. Plot happens and then pink yellow pillow bears come out and devour you. I don't know. If you really think about that though, that's kind of weird that you would think about something like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but hey, it's your choice after all. For some reason I thought we had to go experience for enemies at least, not for uh, not for what we're really going for. What's that shot for? It's like the most stupid shot I've ever seen. How would that shot ever hit? How? I don't see how that shot would have ever hit in a million, million years. I feel like the most awkward thing I've ever seen. Just make no logical sense. It complimented something, I guess, but I don't know what. It did something. Maybe he saw it like I would run into it. I was actually gonna try to run into it to see, just to give him that um, shot, but then I realized, nah, really wouldn't be a good idea. It might have been a good idea for him. Just in giggles, but not really in terms of gameplay, no. We're almost there. Almost at the end of the level. And it's been taking way too long. And we're done with the experience from enemies, which means we could just stop giving them up. If we really wanted to. Now just give us health and we'll be on our way. That's all I want, is health. Health, money, wisdom, and sex. Well, that took enormously 
easier than I thought it was gonna be with the Red Mister Stone. Uh, let's give it to him. I always give it to the the, the, the wizard. Give it to Amadeus. Cause I have more planks. Oh yes, yes, yes! I want more planks. I love planks. I love a plank. You love a plank. We all love planks. That was. I could have gone better. Sorry. Um, point is, I I really am sorry. That was horrible of me. I should not have used you as a sacrifice like that. I probably should have gone there with more class, pizzazz, everything else. Yeah, we're at the end of the level, actually. Can't you tell from how the... Okay. We didn't get all the experience in this level, but you know what? It doesn't matter too much. I mean, we can go back and see if we can find it in the future. And if I do, I'll give you some bonus footage for everything here. So I'll probably do that before the um, final level or something, because the final level is pretty straightforward. Anyways, this is QHA1 with part 11 of Prime. And I'm going to be signing off. Have a good... Good... Day! Hey. Empty! It's not here! Hmm. Just a guardian at rest. Wait. Can you hear that? Can it be? Could the guardian... Light brighter than the sun blinded our heroes. Pictures of what had happened flashed before their eyes.